Hello and welcome to how to replace a color wheel on a Samsung DLP television. As you can see here, we're going to be working with an HLM 507W model DLP TV. And I'll zoom out here so you can see that it's probably very much like yours, maybe not exactly like yours, but the procedure is fairly similar for all models. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bulb. And on some of them, the screw actually pops out. On some, the screw stays with the door. Here's the door. We've removed that. Once you've removed the door, you'll see inside here are two screws. There's one there, and there's one right there. We need to remove those two screws. There's a handle. I'm going to lift the handle, reach in, and very firmly pull the bulb out of the TV. And it runs along a little track. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is remove this back panel. This entire panel here needs to come off. And on mine, if I've counted correctly, I've got 18 screws. Okay, in my case, I ended up with 14 screws. And so, off goes the back panel. In order to get to the color wheel to replace it, there's some stuff that we've got to take off. Some wires and some cables and some screws. The main platform that we're going to be working toward getting into is this part right here, this section of the TV. And in my case, uh, this particular panel is in the way also, so we're going to have to remove it. Uh, I've got two screws that holds my panel in place here. And I'm mentioning this in general terms because these same procedures can be applied to other models of TVs. But of course, if you have uh, the same model as my TV, then all of these steps will apply. Now over here, we've got some cables that are plugged into this big, huge circuit board. Up here in the top left, you'll see this cable here. Let's see, can I see that on the camera? Yep. Let's pull that off and you want to grab it firmly. There is a release lever on the back of this white plug right here, and you want to press it in with your forefinger, whichever finger that is, and it's going to allow that one to pop off. Okay? The next one is underneath this tape. Just peel the tape back. And again, put your finger behind it, kind of push on it. I don't know if this one has a release lever, actually. This one may just pop off. It does. It just pops off. Okay. And then we've got this final one here. And that one you can just kind of twist and pull. All right. Moving the camera down a bit here. You'll see that there's other connectors here. This one. That one has a little release lever on the front. Push it with your thumb and kind of twist and pull. Same thing with this one. Twist and pull. If we move around to the back of this circuit board that we just pulled the wires off of, you'll see that there's another cable deep inside of here. This one also needs to come off. It's this cable right there. Okay, and then here's another one. This is a power cable. It's this one with the uh, red and green wires on it. And we're going to just reach in and pull that thing directly up and it will come off the board to which it's attached. Moving back around to the front, we've got two screws that we need to take off here. So remove these two at the top of this bracket. And then we've got two other ones that are down here. There's one here and one there. Go ahead and remove those two screws. Next thing we need to do is remove the power cable to the safety switch. And this cable is plugged in right here. It does have a little release lever that's on the front. We're gonna push that in and then out comes the plug and then the wire drapes across the top of this fan here so go ahead and pull that out and just let that wire hang down to the side. Go ahead and grab it left hand here right hand over here by the fan 
and just uh, firmly but gently, is there such a thing? Pull it towards you till it kind of slides out like it's on a like it's on a drawer. Okay, what I've done in my case is place this monstrosity on my lap. Uh, you don't have to do that. You might as well set it up on a table or something. But I'm going to uh, bring the camera in and show you a couple things. While you've got this thing apart, it's very possible, especially the age of this TV, that this entire section here, this is like a heat sink. In fact, it is a heat sink. This is more than likely not clean and beautiful as mine is because I have already vacuumed it off. But what you're going to need to do is get a vacuum hose, vacuum attachment, just a regular household vacuum cleaner, and get in here and vacuum this part off. You're also going to need to vacuum off this fan. We're going to take that screw off right there, and then uh, there's another one right here that we're going to take off. Okay, so go ahead and remove those two screws. And oh, there's one more. If you follow this big old white cable here back around to the front, down at the bottom, and I'm having trouble getting some light down in there, you'll see that there is another screw right, I'll just point to it, it's right there. Okay, once you've removed those three screws over on the right side here, you're going to see two small cables. Both of these have to do with the replacement of the color wheel. So before we get down into it, Let's go ahead and pull this cable out. You just grab a hold of it firmly and pull straight out. Underneath is another one. Same deal. Grab a hold of it and well, you'll have to kind of work at it a little bit. All right, but that one comes straight out as well. Around to the top here, you're going to see some kind of a, uh, well, first let's get rid of this cable here. This one's kind of in our way. This one comes out of the clip. And we'll just lay that one off to the side. Then we've got this dumaflage here that's attached to a clip. And we want to kind of pull that out. Actually, in this case, maybe I need to get behind it and push it out. There we go. So pull that part out. And one of our wires is getting caught here. So just pull that part out. And then you can just lay the uh, cables here off to the side. Now this little part here we're gonna we're gonna recycle. This little uh, plastic thing actually has magnets in it. It's kind of an interference filter and we're going to we're gonna take that off and put it onto the new one. All right so now we've got this big enclosure here that's gonna come off and that's this part here that I'm grabbing a hold of. Let's take this wire off the top of this little circuit board here. I believe this is a temperature sensor. Let's pull that wire off, set it to the side, and then grab a hold of this whole thing here. Notice that part of it is held in with tape, and we're just going to kind of let that tape rip as we pull it up. Okay, and this entire big, huge enclosure comes out. All right, and there's the little window that the, uh, that the color wheel looks through. Uh, to see the uh, lamp, and you'll see it's got the uh, the tape there on the side. So go ahead and set this piece aside for now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the part that has made our lives miserable, this little color wheel right here. In my case, mine sounds like a dentist drill for the first uh, minute or two as the TV is playing, and then the whole thing shuts off and lights blink on the front. So that's more than likely what's happening to you as well. So let's go ahead and remove this little beast from inside the, uh, the chassis here. And there's going to be three screws that we're going to remove. There's two on this side. Here's one, two, and then we've got another one over on this side, three. So go ahead and remove those screws and we'll move on to the next step. Once you've removed those three screws, let's go ahead and do as promised and recycle this little doodad here. Now you'll see that there's two clips on the side and you're going to kind of uh, stick your fingernail in there and pry these two uh, things up here, this one and this one, and just remove this particular part from the wiring. Okay, so once you've pried it apart, the wires will break free and then you'll want to set this gadget aside. 